Hi and welcome to a new video about Python and today we will talk about uh, one of the most important things uh, that you have to learn that is how to uh, open and uh, create file on the computer with Python. So um, let's start and it is very simple to open a file. First of all we are going to create a text file um, text file to prove how to open one. Okay, now I'm gonna save this as text.txt and now let's go into our Python code. So to open a file, uh, the best way to do it is to do with open and then I will explain why and inside of this I'm gonna to write the name of the file to open and you can uh, uh, put then the error uh, argument that means that you want to read the file uh, if you you can also do not put anything in it because it will uh, it's the default option to read it and then you do with open this file as file so this is um, it's the same thing that um, you can achieve doing a file equal open text.txt. You can do this and then close the file, right? But it is this is a better way to do it because it will automatically close the file uh, with less problems uh, that could occur when you open and close because in between if um, another program should want to open that file or it's yet open it could create some issues so this is the better way to do it and this is uh, how they recommend uh, to do it in the official documentation so uh, we open this file as file now I just um, gonna do print file open it. and we can also print at the end file closed so let's see file open fine close it's all fine all right and but maybe you want to do something you maybe you wanna read what's inside the file so you just go uh, to a, a content equal file read Mm, and then you're gonna print content you will see the content here maybe if it's all right and here it is text file to prove how to open one and then there is an empty line like in the original code if you remember let me open it it's here you see there it is and now we opened it so content now this variable um, is inside the um, the memory of the computer so it will remain also when we close the file you see here it is um, let's do it twice so that you see that it stays there so you open it you close it you bring the content into into this variable called content and you go on you can also use red lines and let's see what what happens to content now it's not a string just one string anymore but it's a list of strings that get at the end this dash n that means new line and so you can have a, a, a list of all the lines in the string in fact you could also do something like for line in file print line if you don't want to store anything in the memory but just want to read what's in the file so there it is and um, what can you do more you can do uh, other stuff you can for example do content equal file dot red red line this time instead of red lines and then let's print content and you see you just have the first line and 
let's print this two times it's always the same and if instead we do for for l in file then print content it will show the the last one here and if you want to So, um, red lines just read the last line of the of the loop and in this case it reads the first one and if you put the another one here it will put the other one and Let's see. Okay, it's not sick, but sick. Okay, if you see here, if I bring back to to zero the, the red line uh, counter, as you can see the in the index, you go back uh, to the the first line. If instead we comment this you see that it will uh, just go go on so um, what if we want to instead write something into this one um, okay so we're gonna let me comment all of this uh, with, with open uh, text2.txt you need to put w here um encoding equal utf8 is good for some characters that are got the accent or something like this as file you can go file dot write hello this is new and then let me import OS and open the file with OS start file text2.txt. Okay, let's run it. There we go. Um, it is open yet. Hello, this is new. And so if you open it, you can also look it inside. There is the text too here in the folder 
and now um, now we want to use append here to add something to this file and let's say this was not here before so this will not delete what I wrote before but will append it to the uh, to the file. Let's start this program and see that if it opens with the new text inside. Okay here it is. Hello this is new and this is this was not here before. As you see it printed right um, um, after. If I do this goes to the next line and I start again the program. Let's see what happens. Here it is. This goes to the next line. So if you use A like append it will add something to your your file. So um, this is pretty uh, everything about the basic about opening and writing and appending um, something to a text. So to open an existing text or append uh, or write uh, something into a new uh, text or an already um, created text with a pen. And that's all. Thank you.